Metals Workshop. I'm Frank Foster, your host, and today we're going to talk about the Air Medal, one of America's most prestigious combat decorations for those who fly. And today I want to cover it for both the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, Marine Corps, and Coast Guard. It is probably one of America's most handsome military medals in the entire pyramid of honor, normally awarded in combat, but occasionally for meritorious service such as air sea rescue. And what's very interesting is that each one of the services handles it slightly different. So stick with me. What I want to do is show you the medal in detail. I want to show you examples of how it's uh, worn, and I want to show you examples of how it would be displayed by veterans of each one of the services. Ah, glad to have you with us. Let's start by describing the air medal. It's a bronze compass rose of 16 points, and it's suspended by fluid de lis In the center of the medal, there's an eagle swooping downward and carrying a lightning bolt in each talon. The compass rose reflects a global capacity of American air power represented by the American bald eagle. The lightning bolts in the eagle's talons show the ability of the United States to wage war from the air. And the fleur de lire, the French symbol of nobility, represents the high ideals of American airmen. The points on the compass rose on the reverse are models from the center portion of the front, and the back is plain for inscribing with the recipient's name. The ribbon, the ribbon is predominantly ultramarine with two orange gold stripes just inside each edge, and they were selected because they were the colors of the Army Air Force. The original medal is issued in bronze, although it is also available in an anodized or gold-plated version. There's a ribbon that goes with it, an enamel lapel pin for wearing on the suit jacket, as well as miniature medals in both bronze and anodized or gold plate many ribbons, and even an enamel hat pin for veterans to wear on their hats. During World War II, the Air Medal was awarded essentially for the same acts that were recognized by the Distinguished Flying Cross, but they involved a lesser degree of valor or achievement. And that whole idea there was uh, by applying a less stringent criteria, the Air Medal was then seen more as a morale builder while simultaneously protecting the value of a Distinguished Flying Cross. So the Air Medal could often be awarded for uh, shooting down an enemy aircraft in flight, sinking of an enemy ship, or also completing a set number of combat missions. In this example of a highly decorated Air Force officer, you can see he has numerous Air Medals compared to his three Distinguished Flying Crosses. Let me just mention something here. If you're thinking about doing a display case with your veteran's Air Medal in it, World War II, Korea, Vietnam, uh, this is a World War II Air Medal, and I've just laid it alongside a current version of the Air Medal that has been anodized or gold-plated. You can see the older version has oxidized, and I think it's well worth a few dollars extra if you're doing a display case to get the anodized or gold-plated medals for long term. I think General George Marshall had some of the best words when he talked about the value of the Air Medal awarded the Army Air Force air crews during World War II. He said the air decoration should be measured against the remarkable achievements of the Air Force and the special nature of continuing combat. He said these are the men who pioneered the daylight bombing over Europe when the usual pessimistic predictions were that such tactics would be suicidal. These are the men who fought the Japanese Air Force against tremendous odds until they ultimately gained air superiority. They continued to fly missions when their chances of safe return were apparently less than one in five. They still took heavy casualties day after day, week after week, and yet their morale continued high and their achievements were remarkable. And one of the reasons is that they received positive evidence that their work was being given immediate recognition through the award of the Air Medal. For the Army and the Army Air Force from World War II up through 1968, additional awards of the Air Medal were denoted by the attachment of an oak leaf cluster for one additional award or a silver oak leaf cluster for each five additional awards. An award for valor was denoted by a bronze V in the center or for an additional awards, the V and a bronze oak leaf cluster is shown.
air crew members in World War II in the Army Air Force, their highest decoration was an air medal. And this example shows an aerial gunner who had been shot down and captured by the Germans. This play shows his air medal, his prisoner of war medal, his good conduct medal, and his other campaign medals and victory medals. He even includes his Thalog tag for when he was a prisoner of war. This display shows the Air Medal and other service medals of a captain in the 14th Air Force who fought against the Japanese in the Pacific Theater. This is a typical case of an aerial gunner in the 8th Air Force on a B-17 who not only has four additional awards of the Air Medal but also a Purple Heart. The U.S. Army continued to make liberal use of the air metal during the Vietnam War, especially the air crews and aerial gunners. <laughs> Here's a good example of an Army aviator from the Vietnam War who was awarded the Air Medal along with the Bronze Star and the Army Commendation Medal with a V for Valor. You can see how distinctive the Air Medal is and how it stands out from other medals. Today, the Army uses a different set of devices, the C device, to indicate that the Air Medal was awarded in combat, the V device, which indicates that the medal was awarded for valor, and then numerals, bronze numerals, to indicate the number of times an Air Medal had been awarded. For example, if it was awarded for valor and it has been awarded three times, it would have a three on there. This handsome display of a first sergeant who saw extended service in the Vietnam War in the 1st Cav and 11th Army Cavalry Regiment has multiple awards of the Air Medal shown by the numerals and a V to indicate one of them at least was awarded for valor. If you want to know more about how the Army awards the Air Medal and how the different devices go on it and how examples of how the Air Medal was awarded in World War II, Korea, Vietnam, Afghanistan and Iraq and the global war on terror. Take a look at my newest book on the United States Army medals and badges. It's available on Amazon. Uh, the Navy and Marine Corps use the same medals and ribbons, but they use different devices. The V device is gold, not bronze. The C device is for awarding combat. Bronze numerals are used to indicate multiple awards, as well as a bronze star, gold stars, and silver stars to indicate multiple awards. Here, let me confuse you some more on exactly how they do this. The Navy and the Marine Corps have a very special way of showing additional awards of the Air Medal. The Navy and the Marine Corps also award Air Medals for what they call strike flight awards that are made for meritorious achievement while participating in sustained aerial flight. So an easy way to read it is the gold numerals indicate individual awards and the bronze numerals indica indicate sustained flight awards. If it was for valor, a gold V goes in the center and the Navy would show those on the drape horizontally and the example shown here has the Marine Corps award shown vertically. Now, between 1989 and 2006, instead of using the gold Arabic symbols to indicate the number of air medals for heroic or meritorious achievement, the gold and silver stars were used. Here is an extraordinary display of a Navy carrier pilot killed in action during the Korean War and it has both his Distinguished Flying Cross, Purple Heart, and Air Medal, among his other campaign medals. This Marine pilot shows two additional awards of the Air Medal, indicated by the Gold Stars for individual awards. This Marine shows 14 Strike Flight Awards on his Air Medal, and covering the period of the Korean War through the Vietnam War. And this Marine Sergeant displays the Air Medal awarded for Valor with the V in the center of the Air Medal, along with his Good Conduct Medal. If you want to know more about how the Marine Corps identifies strikes and flights and the difference between a numeral award and a gold award and a gold star award on an Air Medal, then you need to get the new book, Marine Awards and Insignia in Illustrated History. It's available for you on Amazon. While I mentioned earlier that the Air Medal can be awarded in other branches of the service for meritorious service, the Air Force ceased doing that in 1988 and only awards the Air Medal for combat operations. 
However, not to be outdone by the Navy and the Marine Corps, it came up with its own unique set of devices to indicate additional awards or specialized awards. Additional awards are indicated by a bronze oak leaf cluster, in this case shown vertically on the uh, drape, or an R to indicate an award to a drone operator. Additional awards have different colors like bronze, silver, gold. Uh, awards for Valor will come with a bronze V, and multiple awards for Valor come with a silver V, a gold V, or a V with a uh, laurel reef around it. So the two air medals being awarded Master Sergeant Jeffrey McManus in this picture are for combat operations. So of course you ask, if the Air Medal is only awarded in the Air Force for combat operations, what do they award for meritorious achievement in aerial flight? And the answer is the Aerial Achievement Medal that was established in 1988 and is awarded to Air Force personnel for sustained meritorious achievement while participating in aerial flight, i.e. a peacetime award. This is really a handsome example of an Air Force pilot's awards for service in Vietnam that include his Distinguished Flying Cross and multiple awards of the Air Medal as indicated by the bronze oak leaf clusters vertically on the drape of his medal. If you want to know any more information about how the Air Force award Air Medals, when they've awarded it, and the different devices that they have used over time and how they display the medals and how you can get those medals, Take a look at my new book, Medals and Ribbons of the United States Air Force, available on Amazon Prime. So as a quick summary, the Army indicates additional awards of the Air Medal with bronze numerals. The Navy and the Marine Corps indicate individual awards, additional awards, with gold Arabic numerals on the left side of the ribbon and additional strike flight awards with bronze numerals on the right side of the ribbon and the Air Force uses oak leaf clusters. On the metal drape, the Army puts their additional awards horizontally, as does the Navy, reading left to right, and the Marine Corps places their awards on the drape vertically, as does the Air Force. So as I mentioned, while the Air Medal is a Department of Defense awards for all five of the services, each one of the services has a unique way of displaying additional awards. Thank you for watching our show on the Air Medal. I hope you enjoyed it. If you or any member of your family has received an Air Medal, I hope that you will go through the effort to put it together in a display case to honor the military heritage of your family. I'd also like to thank Medals of America for providing all of the medals in the awards displays.